Hi, I'm Darlie from Revive Rehab. And in this video, we are going to learn how to align your pelvis if you are a person who does not know how to check your own uh, alignment. So this is an easy method to do and it doesn't cause any uh, problems with doing it for too long. So I usually recommend doing it for one minute or two minutes based on how badly uh, misaligned you are. So in order to show that everyone, I'm gonna get a volunteer. Cat, please come here. And what you do is I want you to lay down face up. Okay. And so you're laying down face up. Can you scoot down a little bit more? Okay. So I want her legs on the wall like that. Hip distance apart. The hip is at a 90 degree angle and the knee is at a 90 degree angle and both the knees are about hip distance apart. So what you have to do is you have to take any kind of a hard surface like a foam roll or you could use two of the yoga blocks or a really thick pillow or a folded up blanket, anything that you want. But you put it in between her thighs. I don't like it putting it near the knee because I don't want the bones to get hurt. So a little bit in the middle of the thigh. My first cue is I want you to squeeze this gently. So if it's a, if 10 is the highest squeeze that you can give, you have to squeeze a three. So just a mild squeeze. And what you're gonna do is while you're squeezing this, I want you to push the wall one at a time. So you're gonna push it and then push it. Now the push is moderate. It should not pull you out of the seat, like out of your position. It should be enough that you feel a little bit of a push, but not so severe that you move out, okay? So I want you to push, and I'm gonna put a timer for one minute, and I'm gonna check your alignment, and then see how you are. But if you are a person that has a lot of alignment issues, then you might need to do it for two minutes. Okay? Hey, CD, set a timer for one minute. Okay, so go ahead, squeeze this, and I want you to squeeze March with this at the same time. So go ahead and do that. So one of the tricks that I'm going to talk about while, while she's doing this, if you know that you have a, you are a flexion trigger patient, which means when you bend is when you have pain in your back, then what I would recommend is putting a small hand towel that is folded underneath your lumbar spine before you do this exercise. So you know yourself. If you don't know what flexion trigger is, uh, flexion trigger is a patient where when they bend their back, that's when the pain is uh, occurring. So if you have a, if you have pain when you bend, then you are a flexion trigger patient. But if you have a pain when you arch your back, then you are an extension trigger patient. So for my flexion trigger patient, I do not want their lumbar spine to be flattened. So you have to put one of those towels underneath it because you're lifting your leg up and I don't want that lumbar spine to be flattened. So put that in there if you know that you are. Okay, and that's it. Okay, fold it. And I'm gonna take this out and I want you to bring your legs down Really, you do not have to check if you're aligned or not. I'm going to check it because I'm a therapist, so I just want to make sure that she's aligned. If she was not aligned, I would make her do for two minutes, but she's aligned. So I'm going to take this, and now the legs are down, and all she does is three sets of squeezes, holding it for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Squeeze it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Squeeze it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and she is done with her pelvic alignment. I recommend doing a pelvic alignment on yourself every time before you do any kind of major exercises. For people that constantly change, uh, uh, you need to do it every day. Thank you.